Hello everyone, welcome to CyberScoop TV. Greg Otto, your managing editor here. We're coming to you live from the floor of the 2017 Black Hat Conference. I'm talking with Haiyan Song, Splunk's SVP of Security Markets. Thanks for talking with us a little bit today. Thank you for having me. So I know Splunk just released a tool with Booz Allen Hamilton, so I'd love to hear the details from you. Sure. Uh, we release a solution uh, called Cyber Foresight. Okay. It's really built on their threat intelligence services that curated and uh, then extended with a Splunk app, and that was developed by the Booz Allen team. Very excited about it. And what's so special about that is now we're taking a threat intelligence that's usually just for the Booz Allen services folks. Now they can be at the hand of all the customers. Okay. And it brings very contextual, relevant threat intelligence to their hand. Visualize it, automate it, and uh, working with uh, Splunk has an adapter response framework. So you can really start automating some of the curation, some of the responses. A uh, lot of great things. So with all of that threat intel, as security teams handle that inside organizations, I'd love to hear some advice on how to make that threat intelligence actionable inside an organization. Because when it comes to the C-suite and people that also care about cybersecurity yeah. outside of the actual security practitioners, the C-suite wants to hear the, you know, why are we being attacked and what are you doing about it instead of the how. And a lot of the threat intel has to do with the how. So how do you turn the how into the why and what What are you going to do about it? Well, threat intel also have a play to that because there is the traditional threat intel, which is all just the indicators of compromises. But threat intel now has a lot richer contextual uh, meanings, uh, you know, coming from the right sources. So uh, our partner, Booz Allen, certainly has derived a lot of those from the services they have rendered to their customers. For the C-suite, the way we always think about is, if it's not contextual, then it's noise. So with the Splunk Enterprise Security product, one of the things that we do is really bring in that risk modeling into the system. So we know what you really care about. We know which one, if something happens to it, is gonna impact your business. So marrying that risk model with the threat intel that is coming from the, the practice and the services, I think it's a great combination. So when it comes to the threat intel inside organizations, yeah. how do we make sure that the human element, you, you are getting the right actionable intelligence? Because yeah. look, with threat intel, there's so much data. Yes. And a lot of that is automated just for the sheer yeah. fact that there is so much data. Yeah. So how can you pull the right information and train the right people to pull the right information from that threat intel once you get a program like Splunk inside an organization. Yeah, that, that's, um, you, your word insight is, is a really key word, right? So a lot of threat intel is looking at the threat landscape. It's coming from outside. And maybe only 10% of that is relevant to you. So how do you really have the internal threat intelligence and context to bring that together? I think that's where Splunk comes to play. Because we have information about your assets, information about the events, and when you have new intel coming, you also have information about what vulnerabilities your assets have. It's really about correlating all the different pieces and zero in on things that you can take action on. And the human element really comes from learning from that because you know we have a lot of judgment that comes through years of understanding and not every, everything is codifiable. Right. So I think the Booz Allen team has done a great job not only say, here's the threat intel feeds, it's actually they're trying to bring that whole history together, give you the history, and give you the visualization, and that's all about bringing the best human insights out of it. So I'm still a believer, humans are super, super critical in fighting the cyber uh, challenges, right. uh, but without the, the support and assistance of technology and machine learning and things, We'll be at a disadvantage. Great. Hi, thanks for joining us today. Look forward to talking about this with you in the future. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Great. All right. For all of our videos, check out our YouTube channel. And for more on Black Hat and all things cybersecurity, check out cyberscoop.com. I'm Greg Otto. Thanks for watching.